board shall proactively share meeting agendas with the public, here's the key, in an accessible, transparent, and easily understandable fashion. Um, that is a perhaps like real easy thing. It takes time to do that. Someone has to do it, right? But yeah. presumably if you do, like, you see where this is going. Any thoughts about yeah. that? I don't think that should be in the charter. I mean, I don't disagree that that should be the case. I mean, I think the argument would be why is that in the, like, how is that different than what the Brown Act already requires? Right, which right. Is that you have I mean, to it's because your agenda. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and actually, I do think that um, it's improved a lot <laughs> and it could still be better. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you know this, by the way, Phil, and I might be talking out of school because I'm not sure how public it is, but Esther is retiring. She just, we got through her a big ass party. I think so too. Her last, uh, her, she told me, I just saw her this week. She told the superintendent, I don't know who else knows, but she's retiring on October 13th. So October 13th? Yes. Mid year? Yes. She's Son of a bitch. Is she, is she the board she's liaison? She's the board's executive assistant. She's been the executive, yeah. Well, and, and, and David, importantly, for 40 when years, the, when oh, the wow. board says things like, are we allowed to do this? Yeah. Esther says, yes, and they're blah, 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 you can do this. Or no, 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 you can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big one. So, um, so yes, yeah, she does deserve a big ass party. She says she doesn't want one, but I think we should throw her one anyway. And, um, but I, I bring that up, Phil, because I think. There's, you know, th there's an opportunity to, I mean, I love Esther, I love her to death, and she has more institutional knowledge in her little finger than I'll ever have, but, um, but she also is not into technology and sort of resistant to change. Oh, no, so I, there's I, some I, opportunity I, I, there. Yeah, yeah. My last question, Rachel, um, is, oh, we already covered it. Ah, well, there, there's, well, there's a bit of a downer. The training, um, yeah, yeah, the training, yeah, we already covered that. Yeah. Oh, what we should call them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah don't. Yeah, I, I don't like. I mean, I I think. Are we commissioners or are we trustees? You're commissioners. Yeah, I mean, I've always thought we used commissioner, although. Mm. Um, I, is that what it says in the charter? That, that uh, I think commissioner. I, uh, I like being a commissioner more than a trustee myself. Okay. So, like, I would just. I'd leave that out. I mean, where that, this came from Davis Campbell, and he, he, he didn't know what, what you all were called, um, and it kind of dovetails with what the, um, I don't know actually what they're, they're called, but in the, uh, the New York City um, BOE is, they're called the policy, it's like the public, the policy educational something, they have the word policy in there, which like, <laughs> Indicates right, like don't get involved in the other stuff. Um, you know, thinking that micromanagement is the, the biggest challenge. Which I thought was kind of an interesting way to. I mean, it's window dressing, um, but yeah, does signal. I, I it, me personally, so Rachel, feel free to push back because you're so shy. Um, I think the idea of calling them trustees is sets a tone of governance and also says we're, we're the job is now different. Mm. My comeback to that, Phil, is we call the City College Board trustees. Oh, I know we do. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. And, you know, and, and, you can think it's all it's all great and governance all you want, uh, but if he, yeah, he looked I, like City yeah. College, not not great. Yeah. Mm. No, I'm with you. So, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, whatever. Yeah. I'm not going to be an issue. Okay. okay. Um, and then the last thing, just so that, cause I'm curious, so you saw my comments on the salary thing, cause I, yeah. I don't think, I do not want board members to have a salary, no. and like, and to be, you know, if Evan was gonna do this thing that was half the, half of a starting teacher's salary or something, I, I don't think we want to introduce the expectation that these are, um, you know, that these are salaried jobs right. and that you, you know, you are a community volunteer first and foremost. However, it is a very demanding volunteer, volunteer role that would not be accessible to many. So providing a generous stipend, which, uh, you know, if we could just take that $500 out of the charter, I, I think we'd get 1500 a month, but I yeah. might be wrong. So, and that's, so, so I think you're, you're content, and, and yes, that's basically in line with what we're thinking. Um, this is not a full, you know, this is not LAUSD, um, or whatever. Um, but you're, you're, you're talking about the word salary, which I think may actually be, um, 
that be maybe my mistake that it's not even called a salary it's called a